finally have the ROG Phone 2 here and boy, this is one impressive device. It looks like a gaming device. We know the ROG line and this year Asus says, look, we're coming for the juggler for everyone because this comes in with as much specs as you can think of for any device. Forget just a gaming smartphone. Now, Snapdragon 855 Plus. I mean, the 855 is the best process in the land in Android. 855 Plus takes it to the next level with increased GPU and CPU performance. You've got up to 12 gigs of RAM. It starts at eight, moves to 12. Yes, there's an eight gigabyte variant. And you wanna check that one out because it's priced starting at 550, $54 or so, something like that. I have a link for you guys down below, seriously. Um, 12, up to 12 gigs of RAM. Uh, you also have a 6,000 milliamp battery in this bad boy, which is insane. Now it's got two USB Type-C ports as you would go, wait, wow, yeah. Because it's got one for that cooling fan, which is basically side mounted. And then you've also got a bottom USB Type-C port, a headphone jack, front firing speakers and you hear the speakers and how well they sound during gameplay sessions here we'll definitely do a separate speaker test so you guys can see that and we'll be doing some comparisons as well maybe the galaxy note 10 plus see so actually compares to that but this device is such a beast like i said a massive battery it's pretty big it's hefty on its size uh it doesn't have um thin bezels it's focused on what you care about gaming and as a gamer mobile gaming, you want something with high refresh rates, 120 hertz, and then super sampling of 240. What it simply means is while you're gaming, whatever games you're playing, you're gonna get smooth motion tapping on the screen and basically getting as precise movement as you want. Plus scrolling is just super nice, 120 hertz. Now you've got accessories that come with this uh, if you buy the accessories. But the main thing I do like is their Game Genie software. Not to be confused with Game Genie from the Game Boy days or your Super Nintendo. This software allows you to do so much more. It shows you your uh, temperatures, uh, how, what's the speed of your processor at that point in time. It shows you your frame rates, which is great, so I don't have to install a separate software. I can record my gameplay, I can go live um, on there. I can also clear up my system RAM. I can do so much with that software and it's just a swipe away to give quick access to it. And it takes your gaming to a whole different level. Now, speaking of gaming, that's what you guys are here for. Played a couple of games, um, giving you just an idea of what it actually does in terms of this gameplay performance. And we're going to talk about some of the frame rates we got in a few games temperatures and all that fun stuff, but we're not wasting any more time. Let's check out some gameplay. struggling here on offense. Yeah, a little bit of cottonmouth here. Dry spell for sure. Here is Livingston. Cook, cook. For three. And the Warriors get it back. And here is Ibadala. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change.
Seriously, the ASUS ROG Phone 2 is a beast. I mean, battery life on that thing is insane while gaming because uh, you got 6,000 milliamps and that also can be charged with a 30 watt charger, mind you. Um, performance was just really smooth. I mean, looking at something like PUBG, I think the lowest I got was 58 frames per second uh, at its max settings. And then uh, mobile, uh, uh, mobile Legends 5v5, 60 frames per second. Other games are also running at like log 60. It just did, gameplay was smooth, really, really smooth. Handled very well. Didn't matter what games we were playing, it just did the job. And the speakers were loud too, really loud and clear, robust. You've got DTSX uh, built in there as well. So you've got all the things you need for that mobile gaming experience. Now, when it comes to temperatures, I uh, ran it um, and it did about 93 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, and of course, about 33 or so. Um, and that's where you get nice, cool temperatures. Uh, but I wanted to see how it performed, you know, intensely and what was the effect of that fan. It, comes, it has a fan that comes with it in the case. To cool the system down is pretty much what it says. It attaches on the side USB ports, it's easy to clap in. And what that does, it doesn't really necessarily cool the system down because I actually check the temperatures afterwards. What it does, it cools the area around so when your fingers are around there, it doesn't feel like it's going to burn because we dropped down by just one degree to 92 degrees and that was pretty much it. So I don't think that's super effective cooling because all that processing is done internally, but it means around the casing of the device outside, it is much cooler. And it's nice to when you game in long sessions, when you're doing long sessions of gaming, you want to feel comfortable with that, with this device. Headphone jack is there, which means, psh, yes. I mean, I can't say anything more about that. Uh, it's, it's a device that I like um, if you're looking for as a dedicated gaming device, it's great. It's got that side switch button that basically switches you into game mode with the Game Genie and turns all the settings into your presets that you have. I think anyone who's thinking about a gaming phone has to look at the ROG Phone 2, especially starting at 500 and like 50, 50 something dollars. It's a great way to jump in. Uh, we'll take a look at the cameras later on so you guys can see how well the cameras work, uh, what you get in terms of quality, that kind of stuff. But for gaming, whew, yeah, the ROG Phone hits the nail on the head right there. So anyway guys, if you have any questions, any comments about the ROG Phone 2, let me know. I'll try to answer them for you. Um, go ahead and leave your questions down below. What you want to see. If you want to see a comparison of the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, leave your comments down below. We'll try and answer them and make that video. Otherwise, guys, thank you very much. Don't forget to like and share. Subscribe to the channel. We're almost at 300K. Thank you very much for supporting, guys. Uh, we'll get some announcements for you, but thank you. Tell your friends, share. I truly appreciate it because this has been a great journey with you guys. But anyway, guys, thank you. I said thank you like five times, right? <laughs> All right. Enjoy entertainment.